Well, hey there, fabulous authors and online entrepreneurs. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. I wanted to jump on and answer a quick fan question that I got recently, all about whether or not you should be associating your social media platforms so that they cross post on each other's platforms. So do you link up your Instagram to post on your Twitter? And do you link up your Twitter to post on your Facebook? Is that something that you as an author or an online entrepreneur, because I know there are some of you who join me who are not authors, um, is that something you should be doing? Well, the simple answer to that is no. You should definitely not be linking those up so that they cross post on different platforms. Here's why. As someone who is using all these social media platforms, you need to be active within that platform. So if someone goes on your Facebook page and they see that you posted a picture on Instagram and you linked that up so that it posted on your Facebook page, they automatically know that you did not care enough to go to that platform and post it yourself. You cross posted it, which means you are likely not someone who hangs out in Facebook a lot, which means they are probably not going to get a lot of interaction with you on Facebook, which means why should they bother with you? Similarly, if you are taking something and posting it on Twitter and people are constantly seeing that those are linked up and you are not actually actively posting within that app, you probably are not living within Twitter. You're not going to be there to answer questions. You're not going to be able to converse, uh, have conversations with people. So they are not going to worry about hanging out with you over on that platform. But when you take the time, the extra 30 seconds it takes to go and post that photo from Instagram over to Facebook, or you post that tweet on Facebook yourself, you actually show that you have taken the time to invest into them on a platform where they are. Now this also is something you need to be aware of because each and every one of these platforms is going to be different. So Facebook is a very different culture than Instagram, and it is very different than Twitter. Likewise, Twitter is going to be very different than Facebook. So if you jump on Facebook, you can post as much as you want, but on Twitter, you get 140 characters. That's not going to be the same way that you communicate, right? If you post something on Twitter, if you have those active links in there, so you at link someone or something, or you hashtag something, is that something that's going to be translated over to Facebook? I've seen so many posts where people jump onto Twitter and they tweet someone in that, but they don't go over to Facebook and fix that link. Now, if they are on Facebook and they are looking at that link, they see the at link, but they can't access whoever that is because you did not link it up. However, if you are talking about that person over on Twitter, you also want to talk about that person over on Facebook, go over to Facebook and post something that's going to resonate with the people on Facebook. Remember, different culture, different people. There are different ways of speaking on these platforms and different things that you can say and different ways of saying them. So when you are active within the Facebook platform, you can speak differently directly to the people who are on Facebook who may or may not follow you on Twitter, but are following you in a different way. You want to make sure that you are active in all these platforms, whether it is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever it is, you don't want to be cross posting because you want to show that you are active within that platform and you know your audience, you know who is on there, you know how to speak to them, you know how to be part of their life where they are within that platform and you are not some lazy person who just wants to post something once and just assumes that the world is going to come running to you to have a conversation with you. I, for one, if I see something on Facebook that did not start in Facebook, I'm not going to respond to it because I know that person was in Twitter, and if I want to talk to them about it, maybe I'll go over to Twitter. Most likely, I'll just let it go. Make sure you are active in every single one of your platforms, because if you do not take the time to be there, if you do not take the time to take care of the people there, then it's not going to be valuable to you and it's certainly not going to be valuable to your friends. So yes, they do give you the options of doing that and a lot of people do it, but it is bad for business guys because you have to make sure that you are taking the time and the effort to invest into your fans on each and every one of these platforms because they are going to be different people. And besides, and besides, here's just a little side note pro tip here. If I saw that post on Twitter, I do not want to see it again on Facebook the exact same thing. That's just redundant and it gets in my way and it's cluttering up my feed. If I've seen it once, I've seen it. I don't need to see it again. Now, if you post it with different commentary or you post it in a different way, 
cool, I'll check it out, I'll read what you have to say, no problem. But if it's the exact same thing, you are just taking up space in my newsfeed. And if I'm only ever getting the same information from you, I will probably block you on one or more of those platforms so that I'm only getting that information from one location. Not necessarily block, but like mute, you know, you understand. So take the time, make the effort, and actually do what you need to do to represent your brand. And that is to get into each individual platform and really make the effort to talk directly to the people in that platform. Twitter is different than Facebook. Facebook is different than Instagram. Instagram is different than Twitter. You get the idea. You have to make the effort because you are talking to a different group of people. Maybe it's about the same thing, but you've got to talk directly to them and you've got to show that you are there and active within that platform. Because if you're not, they will not care about you. Now, if you have more questions about social media marketing, hit up the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. If you're watching our rebroadcast, hit up those comments, baby, because we are going to get more of these answered for you. I want to help you to grow your business through social media, through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, all of these social media platforms that are so incredibly helpful to you as an author or you as an online entrepreneur. You have such amazing capabilities with these social media channels, and I want you to make the most of them. So if you've got questions, hit me up. Let me know and I will be happy to create more resources for you or direct you to the resources that I already have available to you. Now, if you absolutely love this, you can jump onto www.readingtransforms.com. You will have access to our online courses, our online communities, our resources, tutorials, videos, uh, articles, our on-demand mini trainings, our free masterclass webinars, and the amazing projects that we're working on over at Reading Transforms. You can also jump into community.readingtransforms.com, which is my closed Facebook group. I'm talking about the social media algorithms all the time, the platform additions, the changes, how to keep your feeds or your stuff from being buried within your fans' feed, how to work with it, how to work around it. We talk about marketing your books, branding your author brands, and engaging, empowering, and equipping your fans to get out there and market better for you. It is an incredible group of authors who are super supportive. They are in the same place as you. They want to work together to grow their businesses and their brands and get their fans out there to do more for them in a really positive way. And we would love to have you join us. Everybody's super amazing. And we would love to have you be a part of this with us as well. I'm K.M. Robinson, creator of Reading Transforms and K.M. Robinson Photography. And I will see you in the next episode. You guys have a great day and stay inspired.